There is one thing every Magic the Gathering player should always bring with them when they walk into a local game store. And that one thing is this. Deodorant, guys. Start using it. Skatoosh! Welcome back to the channel. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. We're going to get to cracking Captain. Whole lot of Commander Legends. That's right. We got an entire case. So we're going to start busting open. And might I add, might I add, that this is going to be part one of three. <laughs> We're going to be opening up an entire case of Commander Legends booster boxes. And uh, I got to be honest, there's over 60 cards valued over a buck inside of these packs. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Not going to lie, baby. That is pretty, pretty good. Let's start cracking. We're going to zip on through this one uh, for sure. We will give it the old zippity doo -dah. Let's give it, a, give it a world twirl. Okay. Just right to the goods, man. Right to the goods is all we care about. What is this? Ugh. Terrible card. Okay. Moving forward. All right. We got Return of Dust. Torment. And that. There you go. Shakamish Wheel. Followed by Familiar. Cool. And some more of this. I forget how they put all the legends in here. So, yeah. Legends go over here. And foils in this thing and the other. All right. Cool. We are moving and grooving, baby. We are moving and grooving. There we go. I think I gotta figure out a better way, to, a faster way to open up packs. We'll see. Maybe I'll figure it out. All right, let's get into that uncommon. Here we go. There we go. All right, camera's all focused. Court of Ambition, Bada Skadoosh. Okay, that's something. Followed by this and the, oh, the Observer. Okay, so we did get a rare in that slot. That's nice. All right, and uh, a really pale looking Storm Tamer for sure. All right. Unfortunately. The fading on these cards is ridiculous, man. No joke. No lie. Commander Tower. I can't go over all the commons whatsoever. We're probably going to skip through all the commons real fast. Uh, but yeah, get rid of the good stuff. Recruiter. Bada bang. All right. Let's see some of that gold, though. Can we get one of the monster pools? All right. I forget. There's a foil in every single pack, which is just absurd, if you ask me. Like, that's really, really ridiculous. If you, if you need any explanation as to why prices are just uh tanking on on the uh on the foils man look no further than the amount of foils that are going out there they're everywhere larry's disc pretty cool followed by this that and the other whoops we got a man oh man oof, oof. okay oof. that's a close one all right and sergeant boy all right so that's our bonus little thing soul's might foil yeah um i mentioned it once i seen the uh the influx the increase of foils that they're shoving in packs nowadays. And uh, I was not that pleased whatsoever because I knew, I'm like, man, they are going to absolutely annihilate, absolutely annihilate the prices on these foils. Foils used to be something sought after. They used to hold a lot of value. If you go, if you go to older sets and take a look at the foil cards, you're going to quickly see um, foils were worth a lot. Um, when they didn't print them into oblivion, but now they just print, 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 and they're not worth nothing, man. Well, there we go, a little something. Uh, and cutlass, not all of them. I mean, there's exceptions. Now the foil is not the cool thing anymore. The cool thing now, or the cool, the valuable thing now, is the extended art stuff, and really the extended art foil. The extended art foil kind of replaced the foil in a sense, you know, just the regular foil, because that is really the chase card now. Unfortunately, in these sets, you cannot pull any extended art inside of one of these boxes. Not the set, but in this box. Forceful Denial, cool art on that one. So, yeah, you can only get the etched cards. And uh, the etched cards are like one in, I don't know, one. you get like a maybe a, what was it, maybe like six to, to ten in an entire case? We're going to find out, though, together how many exactly it is. Blasphemous Act, cool, cool. But yeah, it just really blows my mind, man, how uh, magic is changing so much. And we are pulling quite a lot of uh, additional rares. It's not bad. But yeah, that's, uh, that's something that's kind of sad. Uh, seeing the price of all these uh, foils just tank, man. You know, they're about the same price as just regular cards now, which is nuts. You know, the non-foil is the same price as the foil for some of these. That's a cool one. Oh, there we go. Wow. All right. 
that's nice to see that we got a mythic i know you're probably thinking that's not much well yeah if you're opening up collector boxes left and right but that my friends was a pretty solid pool right there not to mention this sweetheart okay so we're off to we're doing pretty good right now um as far as getting an etched foil card value wise i couldn't be too sure but uh ground zero comics thank you so much for hooking up uh with some more that we can open thought vessels great the harvester bada bang and uh, I with Lanawar, Seraph of Dawn. And how many sweet um, alternate or etched foils will we get? And how many uh, mythics are we going to get in one of these? Entire case, guys. It's a lot to open, my friends. A lot to open. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Preordain on top is always good. Opal. A lot of nice uh, nice value cards in here. Victimize and Court of Cunning. Bada boosh. All right. Do you like the camera closer up how it is now? Oh, that's it. All right, cool, man. Look at that. That's legit. Almost thought that was a misprint right there, but it's just the ink running down. Um, not the ink running down, but uh, his tail or whatever that is. I don't know. But really, really cool card right there. We will take Fool Boy all day with a foil Elvish Dreadlord. That right there was a blissful pack of magic cards. All right, cool. Uh, even though, yeah, the Dreadlord's not worth much. But yeah, the, the foil used to be at least double the price of a regular car if you go back. But not no more, man. Not ever since the, the printing press has been going burr everywhere. So Soul Fire Eruption, that's another mythic. All right. And we got Thrash with Trickster. That was a nice pack right there, filled with value. So we got Mythic and two rares with the foil uncommon. Okay. Yeah, it just blows my mind sometimes. This blows my mind. We're already halfway through this box. Look how quick we're just running right through it, baby. Running right through it. That's right. All right, we got the crew that's rigged. Okay, unfortunately. Jessica's will. Not to be confused with Jess Guy. And, okay, there is uh, one rare right there. We'll take it out of the bunch. And uh, Massacre with Piper out the back. Yeah, they really filled up on the, uh, the rare slot, man. But they made the good rares that you want to pull really, really tough to get. <laughs> <laughs> um, and those would be like your opposition agent, um, your hall breacher, uh, just to name a couple. You know, those are the top dogs, at least. All right, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Three visits is great. Rejuvenating Springs, that's always, always going to be a good pull right there. Uh, any of those kind of cards are going to bring in a nice price. All right, Navigator and Foil Universal Solvent. There you have it. All right, so spectacular we go. Spectacular we go. I'd like to see them change it up. Um, I've heard other people talking how they're going to uh, get rid of, um, you know, all the crazy extended art stuff. I don't think it's going to be for a while, though. I kind of agree with the person who said it. Uh, it's going to be some time. Uh, there you go, little engine boy. Okay. But uh, I don't I don't like it. I don't, I, the collector thing is cool, but it's really just to increase revenue, man. They're just trying to... They're supposed to... Or they are told. They have to double. Wizards was told... Uh, they have to double their monies. <laughs> Hellcat Corsair, you don't see that one every day. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and uh, they're on the path to doing just that. Whoa, double freaking hot dogs. Okay, there we go. Uh, double rare, or I'm sorry, double mythic with a rare. Um, yeah, that was a nice pack right there. We got Isle and the Piping Boy. Good old Piper Boy, man. He loves piping on that pipe, you know. He goes deep on that pipe, you know, on those notes. He's always hitting. Pretty amazing. I know, I know, I know, I know. And we got Sabator. Sabator. All right. Worm Boy. Raiders. Oh, no. Wrong turn. We did it again. Everything's going to be terrible now. Oh, maybe we'll change it. Maybe this Maybe this will be the box that changes history. Who knows? All right. That was a double, um, double rare. Double rare box. Double rare pack, I should say. Double rare pack. Cool, cool. Whoosh, boom, whoop. Get to the goods. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Reaver. Plague Reaver, boy. And this dude, followed by that. Okay, Soul Fire. Not having too much of luck in the uh, the foil slot. But man, I'm telling you, if it's a common or uncommon foil, it ain't worth nada. <laughs> Nothing like it used to be. Um, I'd like to see those prices increase, but maybe they're just going to keep on changing it. I don't know. Um, yep, they're probably just going to keep on changing it. Oh, flip mode. There's Ascension and a Foil Prismatic Piper. You don't see that one every day. So that one's kind of cool. Uh, we'll take it. Come on, baby. Let's get something real nice, Clark. Real nice. Here we are. All right. We got ourselves Fetters. The old Fets. 
Blade Oracle and Promise of Tomorrow. All right, all right, nothing crazy there. Captain Wrath and the Admiral and the foil. That foil looks nice. Some of these foils came out good. Some came out shop boopy. You know, what are you going to do? Uh, that Prismatic Piper, though. I wonder if that regular one is not, not doing too bad. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right. Back to the goodies. We got Scholar, Herald, Torment, and War Room. Cool, cool. Cool little War Room. All right. What's in the last? Ooh, the Augur. So another one. Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. Okay, that's now we're talking, baby. Vault of Champions and Orzov, not bad. These are fun cards, man. Those are fun cards, fun little hits. Three packs to go in the first one. Three packs to go in the first one. You guys got any fun plans uh, for the holiday season? Anything crazy fun you're going to be doing? I'm trying to think of what I'm doing. It's, it's out of the norm, but I can't really think of what it will be. Uh, Horizon Stone, nothing, uh, no big hits yet in this box. Some decent uh, pulls, though, for sure. And the Defector. Yeah, you're defected, by the way. You're, like, really, really dull, man. All right, two packs to crack, Jack. And then this one's out the way. So a little speed run with this opening. I hope you guys like the faster openings. I'm not sure if you do. Uh, who knows? Uh, maybe if you let me know. That's right, I'm talking to you, Bob. Hex and this dude with Warden. All right. Okay, and a foil at the back. One more pack, baby. One more pack. Can we make it magical? Mm, we're going to find out. Let's make it magical. Okay. Uh, whoop, there we go. We have ourselves a Vala Flight Signet. Cool. Signet's always good. Captain old captain. And that's going to close it out with Illustrious at the end. Not bad. Uh, foil vines. All right. There you have it. That is box one. Down we go. Deuce, baby. Deuce, deuce in the caboose. Let's go. Deuce, deuce in the caboose. Commander Legends. Toppins. Boots. All right, good luck. Let's get that goods. Uh, this box. Will we see the big cats? Will we see an opposition agent? Will we see a manager? Will we see a vampiric tutor? A scroll rack? A jeweled lotus? A hull breacher? We're hoping. We are really hoping this time. All right. Whoops, there we go. All right, let's do this, baby. Ooh, Court of... No one cares. All right, Legion. I use that in my Cathodian deck. No, no, stop. No, you don't. All right, there's Jared. All right, nice little foil there. So we got ourselves a foil rare in that slot there. Bada boosh. We'll take it. How about a foil jeweled lotus? That would be something, huh? Foil extended art jeweled lotus is still going for over $400. That is amazing. Actually ticked up a tiny bit. Vessel. And a great blob. All right, great blob. Oh, witches. Don't ask about that little ring being there. Okay, okay, or that. Let's just silence that really quick, shall we? Mm-hmm. All better. Okay, sorry about that. Had to get rid of the noise. Had to get rid of the noise. Let's do this. Come on, something juicy here. Vow of Torment. Which is an Apex Devastator. Can't go wrong with that. Nice little hit. We will take it. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so that is a Mythic. That goes in our really cool guy pile there with uh, this, that, and the other. And that's going to drop over to you. Boom, boom, boom. I put the uh, Jared up top with the other foils from the other first box. So that's why you're not seeing it right now. Uh, heart. Let's go. Boom. Imperius. Perfect. Ooh, look at that. Imperius. Perfect. They did that on, they did that on purpose. They did that on purpose for sure. Come on. Where's the big one, man? We got the Rager. Where is our big one? Where's our big hit? Where's our big hit? Where is our big hit? Um, we did pull um, the Doom of Fools. I mean, that thing's not bad. It's like 10 bucks, roughly. But we can do better. We can do better. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Vault of Champions, yet again. Hit it twice now. All right. And, oh, nice. Thousand Faces. Regular art, that's one of the top dogs as well, going for like around 19. So not too bad, not too bad. If I don't include prices, I'll, I'll tell you the prices. Body of knowledge, there you go, maybe a buck. You can hardly tell there's even a foil on that thing. How weird is that, huh? That's weird. All right, that's going to go over here too. Here, I'll put this guy here too. Bada bing. All right. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. All right, come on. 
Now we go. Sisse, that's something. Lightning Boy, coming at you. Will, mmm, prototype. All right. So right now we have one pretty decent pool, and the rest is kind of like, all right, it's we have stuff, you know, things are cool. And that's about it. <laughs> but I got a feeling in this box, we're going to see an opposition agent, and we're going to see a mana drain. I'm just convinced. I'm convinced that's how it's going to go down, man. That's how it's going to go down. We got the Reagan. All right. And Warden with Familiar. Ooh, nice. That's a fun looking one. That's fun. All right. That's a fun guy. That's a fun guy. Let's go, baby. Digging right into them goods. Right into them guts. Let's go. Command. All right. And Weapon Smith followed by Tuya. Booya. All right. Nothing crazy there. Revelation. I'm still waiting on my mats from Ultra Pro. I don't think they ship those ever. Volcanic Dragon. Pyramid Pack. And we got ourselves the Grace. Court of Grace. Uh, Tide's always a good card. And here. There you go. Ghastly up in here. Right now, this... Um, not that impressed. <laughs> uh, we have not pulled... Uh, any, we pulled... Two in the top eight. But they're the bottom. Both uh, seven and eight <laughs> for the top. Come on, right here. Okay, that didn't work out as we planned it to. Okay. Dawn. Okay, triple rare packs. Always cool. And the Visera Seer. Sure. Okay. Still making magic happen, baby. Still making magic happen. Let's go right now. Can we do this, guys? What's it going to be? What are you rooting for? What are you rooting for? This? Oh, no. Okay. Well, you know, we're not being very psychic today, are you, Joey? No, we're not. Okay, familiar. That was cool. So we got, yeah, right there. Familiar and then that. Okay, familiar. Yeah, All right. Um, we got to pull it, man. We got to pull it. I'm telling you. We're going to pull it. We got the uh, we got the mana drain just, just waiting to be opened right now. Just wait for it, man. It's, it's in here. Ooh, that's a, a weird misprint right there. Not misprint, but a bad job on the uh, the printer. As you can see, yep, not good. Good thing it's only uncommon. That's not worth much. Okay. Cast down and spectator seating. Legit. I did notice a trend. If you get a box that has like, you know, two, like the regular ones, like usually you're going to get a bunch more. So that is a trend um, I have spotted with these boxes. So with spectator seating, and we pulled the other one uh, of the land, like we're probably going to get at least two more. Um, Non-foil versions, I guarantee you. Watch. Watch how it works. That's how it works, man. Dictator Herald? Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> I swear, Marcus, you pull more freaking tutors than anyone I know, man. It's got to be something in your toots, bro. Nice, nice pull right there. Legit. That is legit sauce. All right, and Ascendant. Hot dogs, baby. Hot freaking dogs. Let's leave it up. Beautiful. All right, so we did hit a big one. Vampiric Tutor still coming in around 44 bucks right now, roughly. Give or take. Someone's like, it's going for forty-three twenty-one. What are you talking about? You don't, yeah, I'm not watching your videos anymore. Shut it. Dreadlorder, dude. And uh, wow, every time you open a box, except for last box, we didn't pull again. So this one was interesting. Okay, second one of these uh, alternate. That's pretty cool. Um, or the etched cards. Second etched card. We're down to about 12 packs. Stick with me through the final hooray. Vampiric Tutor. I did not see I did not see that happening, man. I just did not see the Vampiric Tutor coming our way, but it did. All right, boom. Three visits. Cool. And Coronation. Yeah. They're like, all right, we gave you some good stuff. Now we got to give you some crap. Uh, Life Crafter's Gift. All right. Foil. All right. Last pack in this row. What will it be, bro? Got to get some of that good. Come on. Here it is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Virtue, memory, and protege. All right. That's whatever. I don't know. Who cares. All right. And the foil serpent. Ugh, man, the prices on these foils, guys, are terrible. They are terrible. I'm telling you right now, they're just terrible. Terrible prices on these. Make a stand. Come on. Reclamation blade and Sage's will. Oh, yes. Zat's will. Bada bang. All right. This and up. Ooh, Court of Ice Foil Rare. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take a Foil Rare all day. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Go Browns, by the way. Browns are doing stuff. Cleveland Browns, that's right. Mace Succession Hall Breacher. Ah! 
All right, this was a really good box. Second box is where it's at, man. Second box definitely was where it's at. Um, almost got our value back just from two cards. Almost. Almost got the value back from just two from two cards out of the entire box. Pretty crazy. We pull one more hit. This is a win, man. This is a win. One more decent hit. It's a win. Training center. I told you. There's the third one. We're gonna see a fourth. You better. You bet your bottom dollar we will, pal. Ooh, charcoal diamond. Uh, it'd be nice to have a complete foil set of these uh, diamonds and stuff. They look pretty nice. Did they do those in extended art? I don't think they did. I think they're just regular foil. I think. I believe so. Okay, maybe. All right, let's go. We've got ourselves Lieutenant. Ugh, Staff of Domination. This card is always... This, this will slowly go up in value. I'm telling you. It's slowly going to go up in value. Believe that, my friend. And review with murder out the back. All right. Okay, down to four packs. Let's see some of that gold, Billy Bob. Let's see some of that gold. Come on, don't forget your deodorant. Let's go. All right, whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Underground Stadium, told you. Joey, how did you know? Because that's the pattern. There is a pattern with these boxes, man, I'm telling you. Um, and I'm getting it down to a science because I, I'm opening so many of them. Black Rose, bada boosh. So, yeah, there you go. We pulled them. Pulled all of them. Got them. We got them, baby. What else? Three diamond. Which isn't a bad pattern. I mean, you know, there you go. So you open one pack, um, and you pull one of those. You're kind of like, all right, well, the odds are pretty good. You're going to pull more of those then throughout the box. Perfect. And usually you get, like, one decent hit. Um, one or two decent hits. So on top of that, not bad. It's a pattern. I noticed it's a pattern. I know. Scale of Ages, Stone, and Laboratory, Drudge. Okay. Brainless. Doo, 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 doo. Got a second rare. And the Gargi Boy. Okay. Last pack to crack, baby. Last pack to crack. What's it going to be, diddy -o? Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed, you know, just always hit the like. Um, it does mean a lot. And leave a comment. Comments help a lot, too. Whatever you say, I don't care. Uh, not bad. That's a decent card right there. Uh, we'll take it. Rogaloth, this guy. And the Flood of Recollection. Okay, didn't pull the cards I thought we would, but you know what? We had a fun time. Thanks for tuning in, Scoochbags. We'll see ya.